Well, good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. It's our last day in Puerto Madryn today. It sure is. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, we've really enjoyed being here. And this is only really our second full day to explore the place. Yeah. But I mean, it's completely different weather today too. It's not sunny. Overcast. It's overcast. It's cooled down. It's I cool had to down. grab a jacket. What is this? This is my kind of weather. Also, I really enjoyed where we've we've moved. We've been staying in a more residential yeah. than commercial area. Mm -hmm. And the plan for today, well, it's obviously going to include food because yes. it's us. Yeah. Um, but we're also planning to visit the Eco Center, which is one of the main attractions here in Puerto Madryn. And one thing that really surprised us because we were going to try to visit yesterday is that it doesn't open till 5 p.m. Right. I think it's 5 to 9 p.m. Yeah, every and, day. And another fact is we couldn't Not visit yesterday day. because it was, it was closed, closed on Tuesday. Yesterday. So I believe it's open Mon or sorry Wednesday through Monday uh, from 5 All to 9 p.m. Long, All week long except for Tuesday. Tuesday. So it's good, go. it's good that we have this extra day. Originally, we weren't going to have this extra day in, in the city. But mm -hmm. now that we do, we can go visit that. And also on our agenda today is we want to try some Patagonian lamb. Sam chose a restaurant. It's somewhere over our shoulder. Right over in our shoulder. Direction, yeah. I think it's called Joaquina. Yeah. Joaquina or something like that. And the cool thing is just, it's like, it was in a straight direction right from our apartment. Yes. So it's like uh, about walk. four or five blocks away and we've bought our appetites. So let's go have some lunch. See you later. Good start to the meal. We've ordered a red wine selected by Sam. Let's see, what did you get this time? It's Malbec. Of course. <laughs> Always. Always. Estancia Mendoza. Yeah. All right. We, have, we haven't had that one before, have we? No. It's, that's a new one. I think we have. So, like, when we have an opportunity to try different different uh, bodegas, different brands of wine, we, we take that we, we take that uh, take that opportunity seriously. <laughs> How's the wine? Very nice. I like it. It's good. It's gonna go really nice with my Patagonian yep. risotto that I've ordered. And you're having bread and super pumped about bread that. and butter. We had a, have a nice little bread, bread basket and mayo. Oh, it's mayo. Sorry, yeah, I haven't even tried it yet. Favorite so. combo. Yeah, that's quite common in Argentina, isn't mm -hmm. it? Sometimes you get a garlicky butter. Other times you get a, like a kind of a mayo type of mm -hmm. spread. Like a lemony mayo. Yeah. Oh, bueno. oh wow. wow. Soto para mí. Gracias. Gracias. No. Wow. Wow. Ooh, well, linda presentación. See, give it some bread. You want some bread? Come on, I dipped it in gravy for you. He's like, what? No, thank you. Eat it. It has gravy, my friend. He's like, nope. That's not what I came for. It was pets, Audrey. So sweet. You look like the dog from Seventh Heaven, except he was white. But you look like the same kind of dog. Are you going to talk to him in Spanish too? Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Are you interested in bread with gravy? Does that interest you? No. I think they just want to keep us company. No, Audrey, I think they like, the, they like a piece of Patagonian lamb. I'm pretty sure. Well, guys, all this talk about lamb, lamb, lamb. We're going to try Patagonian lamb. In the end, only Sam got Patagonian <laughs> lamb. I saw a Patagonian risotto on the menu, and I was like, "That's it." Yeah, we, we, that's what I'm getting. We are sticking to the Patagonian theme, and all. Patagonian <laughs> theme, yes. We are going for the Patagonian food, so I ordered a risotto with shrimp and mushrooms, wild mushrooms, and it is so cheesy, so creamy. Mmm, I'm just so wonderful. A really good selection. I'm really happy with what I ordered. Sam. My dish looks amazing got too. Got a very impressive dish. 
his has a really nice presentation to it so wait until you see that i know and i, I just love how chill it is on the beach today we got nice weather we got a it's breeze cooled mm -hmm. it's cooled down considerably we've got reggae music in the background and we've got two dogs who befriended us one is still here the other one's roaming around on the sand I've tried feeding them. Like I took some bread yeah. and dipped it in Sam's gravy and offered it to them and they're like, no, we're cool. Well, we'll see what happens when I offer it some yeah. Patagonian lamb. To be fair, <laughs> they arrived with a family, so I'm pretty sure they're well-fed pets. They, they, they look well taken care of. Mm -hmm. Well, hello there, my friend. Check this out, guys. This is a thing of beauty. The presentation at this restaurant is, is incredible. So we mm. have a skewer with bacon, Ooh, known, yeah. known locally as pancetta. We've got two what appears to be like baked potatoes. One of them mm. has the skin still on it. Nice and can golden. can tell they're golden and crispy. And then over here, we have the Patagonian lamb. Yes. And apparently, it comes with plum and more bacon. It's wrapped in bacon over here. Oh my. And also, it has a rich looking gravy as well. So, that I can't wait to tuck wonderful. into that. Poor things. The pups had to leave. They're not allowed at the restaurant. Oh. Off they go. That's so bad. That's so sad. They were sweet. They were the they best. They missed out on the lamb. The family's <laughs> off. <laughs> poor, poor pups. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been talking into this Patagonian lamb. Ooh, and I can tell you that it's the best Ooh. lamb I've ever had in my entire life. That's how good it is. Very fibrous and tender. The way it breaks it's apart. It's tender, but it's got it, it's a bit fatty and it and it's also got like the crispy skin. The way it's been cooked with the with the bacon and then such a nice gravy. It's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. So happy with this dish. One of the best dishes we've had on our whole trip. Oh, the potatoes are great. Golden. Cooked to perfection. A little crispy on the outside. Mushy in the middle. You know, we were debating getting some appetizers. I'm so <laughs> glad we didn't. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to enjoy all of this I fully. The, the mains are, are, are very generous portions. Um, but the quality is fantastic and the presentation like you can just tell there's a lot of um a lot of care going into this i mean even look at the way there's been uh vinaigrette drizzled on the on the outside of the of yeah the plate on my here. plate too your plate too nicely decorated so, being the canadian that i am i'm gonna Got grab a little bacon. bit of bacon Excuse canadians live on bacon mm -hmm. oh yeah that's the secret bacon is always good guys wow oh, what a wonderful dish definitely if you're if you're in this city and you're by this restaurant, come here and order this. I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna really like the risotto because let's, let's swap plates now. Let's swap. I'm digging right into this, sharing with Sam. So excited for you to try this, Audrey. It is like loaded with bacon in there, like super stuffed. So good. Like sometimes they just give you one strip of bacon around the meat. This one was like stuffed with bacon inside. I know, I know. So good. So good. Mm. It's too good. Mm. <laughs> and it's sweet. Yep. You can actually taste the plums. It's like yep. a plum puree. You picked a winner with this one, gotta say. Mm. Like it doesn't get much better than this. By the beach, nice nice weather, it's chill, it's not busy right now. It doesn't mm -hmm. get busy here until the afternoon, evening. Mm -hmm. It's just so chill. Like this is the ultimate experience here. I'm it loving is. it. And so wine. Patagonia, I love you. <laughs> risotto time. It is risotto time. Check out the size of the, the prawns here. Shrimp is. I'm gonna make sure I get a nice big bite. I want to make sure it's cheesy. Look at the cheese. Oh, you can see oh. the strings of cheese stretching. Oh. Wow. It's just like ultimate comfort food, isn't it? Yeah, on a day like today, mm. it's so nice to be having a heavier dish. It is, yeah. Now the heat wave has passed. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I'm loving the weather, I'm loving the food. Just loving how d delicious this is. I'm gonna have one more bite with the shrimp because you know what? Just can't get enough of the shrimp here. Life is good, people. Mm. Quality of shrimp in this city is excellent. We had a pizza with shrimp recently. Oh my gosh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Same size, very good stuff, very good stuff. Total for that wonderful meal that we could barely finish came to 29 US dollars. Yep. 
not bad because yep. it was delicious. One of her favorite meals so far, to be honest. So to recap, bread basket, Ooh. full bottle of wine, two really delicious mains. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'd say we, fantastic value. We couldn't value. deal with dessert. We wanted yeah. to, but we just well, couldn't. We've just been having such heavy meals so many days in yeah. a row. Today we just decided to reel it in a bit, mm -hmm. keep it lighter. But the portions of the mains were certainly filling it up. Massive. Massive. Yeah. So now we're going to go for a little walk along the beach. Just to walk off. Walk off some of those <laughs> calories. Meal. Um, yeah, and then we're going to need a siesta because, I mean, the wine just knocks me out. Like, I have a few <laughs> sips and I'm like, ooh, I'm lost to sleep. <laughs> yeah. The tide's gone out all the way again. So it is a bit of a walk to reach the water the beach is just so wide i feel like i need to dip my feet in the water at least once while i'm here since this is a coastal destination seaside city so walking walking to the water oh this is ice cold oh oh it is cold it's really cold isn't it yeah it's one of those things where anytime I've seen anyone go in the water here in Argentina, they like charge into the water because yeah, you can't you hesitate. If you, yeah, if you hesitate, it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think you're gonna be amused by this. This is my current tan. It's the ultimate farmer's feet tan. I wear my Teva sandals. <laughs> Teva, Teva. I don't even know how it's pronounced, but that's the look. How long have we been in Argentina? A month? <laughs> this is my one month we, we We need you to go barefoot for a few days, huh? Yeah, or just change up my shoes. time for our afternoon excursion we are visiting the eco center we're on our way there almost there it's just around the bend so we basically followed the boardwalk all the way out of town really I feel like we're in the middle of nowhere it's a super super windy day and yeah we're gonna see what the eco center is all about I'm not sure if it's a museum or what's going on in there, but we're gonna find out in a few moments. of an unexpected attraction um, but just before you reach the eco center there's a little boardwalk that goes down to the shore where they have some caves and this is where the Welsh settlers first disembarked and kind of like created a temporary shelter so this would have been in the year 1865 
made it. It's a bit of a walk to get yeah. here. Yeah, and it should come as no surprise. Our first order of business is to grab some food. We noticed mm. they had a little cafe. They do coffees, teas, cakes, mm -hmm. like grilled, grilled sandwiches. What are we having? Scones. We're having a tostada, which is a grilled ham and cheese sandwich. Uh -huh. We're getting a little scone and we're getting a little... Pasta frola. Yeah, it's like a it's strawberry like, tart. No, or? it's made with quince. Oh. Membrillo. Membrillo. It's kind of like a jam. Quince it's jam. It's good. I really like it. It's going to be um, awesome. We, yeah. we, we walked almost an hour to get here, so we're, we're definitely hungry. Also, they have a lot of Welsh food on the menu, mm -hmm. but, well, because the Welsh settlers originally landed here yeah but we're gonna be getting into Welsh food a bit later on you'll see in a few days yes in Gaiman <laughs> a lovely surprise we've reached the top of this they lookout views. point huh? looks a bit like yeah. a lighthouse they yeah. have couches where you can sit down hasn't it been a cool museum it's like, been so cool so worth it it's a little bit away from the center but it's so worth coming here yeah I mean just the the, the displays are so fascinating mm -hmm. every theme room is completely different and now we can sit down and look out to sea. Lovely. Mm -hmm. 